it's an exciting day just as I logged off uh, from my computer today and we're about to sit down and close up for the day I saw a exciting post come through from Martin Kiss on LinkedIn and uh, Graphisoft have just announced their public roadmap. Now for me personally I look at this as an exciting step forward uh, it's it's something that we haven't seen from Graphisoft since I've been involved with them and from the conversations and the article that I wrote back in July last year when ArchiCAD 26 was released and the community were calling for more transparency from Graphisoft seeing this today I think is a really big step forward and from my mind it's a great step forward in terms of opening up the communication channels between ArchiCAD uh, and their developers and the ArchiCAD users from around the world. Now, from my perspective, uh, it's the first step. It's a first step in many that, that will be happening. And there's a lot of things I can't talk about that I do know about that, that are coming uh, in the future that hopefully will enable the collaboration to grow stronger. But from my perspective, seeing this is exactly what the community needs. Now, some people might not agree with the contents and I can understand that, but guess what? It's now the opportunity to begin a dialogue, um, constructive criticism, let's work through this together. So let's jump over onto the Graphisoft website and have a look at uh, exactly what we have to work with now. So Graphisoft have put together their roadmap, graphisoft.com product dash roadmap. So I will put a link below. So what we see here is a variety of different sections that we're working with in terms of an explanation from Graphisoft as to what they're doing with the public roadmap and then breaking it down into, into uh, four different sections. So coming soon, they're, the, they're actually the features that they're working on right now. Uh, in progress is stuff that they've just started working on and it may work or it may, may be seen in the future, it may not. Uh, under research is stuff that they're currently researching and the idea pool is kind of the area where all of the ideas are moving forward. So the key thing with regards to this is I think that along with everyone else in the ArchiCAD user community will be digesting this over the coming couple of days. Um, putting into our own little into our own little kind of databases, I guess, and seeing what features actually mean the most to us, which ones aren't relevant to us, uh, seeing which ones actually make the big difference to the way in which we work. And the key thing being is that uh, going into the Graphisoft community and providing feedback suggestions with that, I'd uh, take the suggestion that you do it constructively. Don't just uh, talk about how good or bad it is talk about you know things that you could you'd like to contribute to things that how you things that are important to you and how that would make a difference so it's one of those things where i thought it was important to put this video together uh off the back of the uh conversation that i had with Hugh last year after my article was written i think it's important to kind of see that you know from my perspective i see this as a really big positive step forward so let's step into where we're heading with this roadmap so under coming soon, the real positive thing is here is that we can filter this to see how it is relevant to our own, uh, I guess, our own work. Uh, and me being an architect, I'm going to filter out MEP and structure and have a look at the features that we have here that, that are being worked on. Now, I don't want to take all day with regards to this uh, present or this kind of review, I guess, of what how exciting this is to see this roadmap. Uh, but from my perspective, you know, seeing this and at the moment, that's all the detail that there is. There's not much extra detail showing up. Uh, it'd be nice to know and, and with the uh, Design Together event uh, on today as well, it'd be nice to ask questions of the panel as to whether or not uh, any further detail will be provided with regards to these. So that's kind of, you know, will there be more detail that gets added to these cards? But for me, the approach that I'll be taking uh, in the next 24 hours will be noting down all of these different items into one of my uh, Airtable databases and then looking about how important some of these things are. So 
design options is a, is a, is a is a positive one. You know, we all have challenges with our our clients changing their mind. Uh, interactive schedules with, when we're dealing with information, it's one of those things that are really important to me. IFC four import certification, one of the things that'd be nice to see would be both directions. Uh, better search functionality in Archicad. Consistency is the key, right? Um, so there's some really good little things in here that we can see that are going to make a difference. And one of the things you do see a lot of people asking for at the moment is uh, FBX import and export. So I think there'll be a few people uh, in the visualization space that'll be excited to see that. Moving over to in progress, and we'll see here that these ones don't have any images yet. I'm guessing these are the ones that are kind of in the middle phase as they talked about on the front window. But we can see here there's there's eight cards relevant to that. And, you know, with all of us on the Archicad side of the fence, working with consultants in Revit, um, Revit 2024 came out today. And you could see the buzz already on social media channels where uh, the Revit users are getting, I don't know, excited and unexcited about what's come out. Seems to be a common occurrence with new software when it's it's released. And then we see our longer, our longer lists here Obviously, the longer the lists that we're going to see in these back ends with under research and the idea pool. So I know there's a lot of people who get excited about keynotes. Personally, I think the keynotes are a waste of time. We should be moving on from that. Power BI, it be interesting to see what they're actually trying to connect with that. Point Clouds, we're all working with them and there's presentations coming up in my conference in a couple of weeks with regards to that as well. So I'm really excited to see this. Um, the only thing I guess from my perspective that would be a little bit better, uh, I think, would be to see a bit more meat on the bone, a little bit more detail as to what these actually mean. And I know it's early days uh, and we're going to see a lot more detail, uh, obviously, as they go. But uh, as you can see here, this is a really good start. So we can see here that we have the future with their idea pool. And I'm guessing at this stage, the conversation piece will be uh, Another question to put forward to the team, uh, Martin and his team will be, uh, how is their, how is feedback actually captured? I think to me, they're probably the two key things in terms of a little bit more detail uh, and also how can the community provide feedback as to what is actually important to them so that it kind of sets up a priority list for Graphisoft uh, in terms of you know user feedback um, but from my perspective, this is a great start. It gives the users uh, some certainty uh, in terms of where Graphisoft are heading with the development of Archicad. Uh, you know, this list keeps going. Um, it's, uh, it's quite a long list. So it's going to take a little bit while to digest. And it's something definitely I wouldn't look to try and cover off on this video uh, in terms of going through each one because... I guess with this little a bit of little information that we have here, it'd be a lot of guessing as to what these features may be. Um, maybe a future video could be about what I think they should be. Um, but in any way, it's it's exciting to see um, this shift and this first step in terms of transparency from Graphisoft as to where they're heading. And I look forward to hearing more from the Graphisoft team later today when they do their building together event. And I would suggest to people that are watching this video, you know, down the track uh, after the building together event to make sure you watch back that build together event and also uh, take the time to go to the Graphisoft community to uh, contribute and comment on the roadmap. And remember to take that constructive approach to it because, uh, you know, it's it's the only way we're going to move forward as a community. Constructive feedback is the better approach rather than just kind of being a bit of a negative Nancy. Um, so um, really exciting news. I'm really excited, hence why I've recorded this so quickly, uh, put it up so quickly. I think that as a community, we should be excited to see that it's in existence now. And because it's in existence, we can, as a community, um, provide active feedback to Graphisoft about the ideas and where they see the direction of the software going. So I uh, look forward to talking about this more in the, heading into the future.